What's up, guys? This is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com, and in this Lightroom 4 preset system mixology tutorial, we're going to be going over the standard black and white vivid landscape preset. We're going to talk about kind of what it's used for, uh, well, what we designed it for, and then also kind of how it was created and everything like that. We'll go over a few different examples and everything along the way. So let's first show you guys kind of the difference between the standard black and white vivid versus the soft portrait, which is designed for more portrait work. So we select the standard black and white soft portrait versus the vivid, you're going to see a big difference just overall in tonal detail as well as contrast. Now we're doing a few different things in this landscape version uh, and one of those is actually boosting the dynamic range and heavily boosting contrast and detail. Now if we compare this to the actual standard black and white conversion in Lightroom, you're going to see a massive difference. So I'm going to hit uh, Control Shift R or Command Shift R on a Mac to reset everything and here is the standard black and white conversion and here is the vivid landscape black and white conversion. So you should be able to see a major difference between the two. Now we would recommend that you guys use this uh, vivid landscape standard black and white version for basically black and white images that you really want to you know, pop and enhance the detail on, which typically for us is either landscape images or environmental portraits. So let's do a few images now. Now for this image we'd probably just bump up the uh, exposure just a bit and then uh, call it good right about here. But you know what? I still like the color version of this image better. I think it works well. It has great colors to begin with. So let's select some images that we'd actually uh, apply the black and white preset to. Uh, now the first one I can think of is actually this image. We did a desaturated version. We did a color version. But if I were to choose the actual processing that I would do for this image would be uh, black and white. It'd be a vivid black and white look to it. So let's select that and see what we get. All right. We're going to bump up the uh, base adjustment just to lighten it a tiny bit and I really like that look and I think that's the best fit for this image. So here if we compare the before to the after in two clicks we got to a really nice black and white version of our image. Let's go on. I'm going to bring up my film strip so we can kind of slide through this easily. Uh, let's choose a different image. Um, let's find another one that we think will work well in black and white. You know, the funny thing is that so many images work well in black and white. Really, almost any image works well in black and white. Um, let's do this one, which is more of an environmental portrait than this one. So we're going to go to My Mixology. We're going to select our standard black and white preset. Let's shrink the film strip. And let's also dial up just a little bit of the exposure, just so we can kind of brighten up our image too. So you can see that this standard black and white vivid landscape still works on environmental portraits. Just don't use it on close-up portrait shots as it's going to enhance too much of the detail. We still get a really, really nice look with this. And we can compare that also to the um, softened black and white version of this. So let's compare the two. Uh, let's actually do a snapshot so it's easier to go back and forth between the two of those. So let's do, whoops, there we go. Okay, so we can go into our snapshots. We're going to save this as vivid BNW. Let's go and do the standard black and white, and then we're going to add our plus one adjustment to it to make it the same. And then let's save this out as a new snapshot as soft BNW. All right, so when we go back and forth, you'll see the big difference between these two images is really just the amount of detail enhancing, uh, contrast boosting. Again, that black and white, the vivid version is also bumping up dynamic range, so you're going to see more detail in the shadows and stuff like that as well. All right, guys, let's go on to another image that we think would work well with this setting. So let's pull up our film strip again, and let's keep going through. I think it would also work really well on these types of shots. Again, this kind of falls into the uh, manly man type shots. Even though he's just a kid, he still wants to look like a manly man. So uh, if I apply the standard black and white vivid, it's going to have a really nice look to it. We just bump up the exposure a bit to adjust, and it looks great. Let's keep going, see if there's something else, and then we'll also do an example image with it. Um, let's go to, you know what, this hill shot, this is actually how I'd process the shot, is a, a vivid black and white. So we did the desaturated version, but once again, the version that I would select for our studio would actually be the black and white version, because I think it would work the best. Uh, so let's select that, and we're also going to bump up our, let's bump the exposure by one stop. Actually, let's bring it up by half stop. I still kind of like it being a little bit on the darker side. I like it the way it looks kind of a little better. Um, all right, so that looks awesome. Let's go through and show you guys just how to create this mixology setting so you guys can see the process and basically learn the system a little bit better. Let's select a different image just for the sake of the tutorial. And we'll pick, let's do, let's see here. Let's do this shot. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with, and because this preset is quite a bit different than the other standard color and desaturated presets, we're not going to start with those as bases like we did with the standard desaturated preset where we chose the standard color 
preset as basically the base for the standard desaturated. So what we're going to do is start with our standard import, which already should be applied for you guys. We're going to drop down to our base adjustments, and here we go. We're going to start with a medium HDR click, and let me actually close the film strip so you can see this in full glory here. All right, so we're going to start with that medium HDR. Now we're going to drop into our detail. We're going to do a light boost on the detail. We're also going to do a light boost on contrast. And we're going to modify blacks just a little bit by hand, actually, because we want a very precise adjustment for this. Um, so let's skip down, actually, to the next section. We don't need any noise reduction. We want to keep all the detail. Um, saturation, everything like that, is not going to matter because this is going to be black and white. And if you want, you can do a light vignette with these. Sometimes I like to have a light vignette with my black and whites. But for this one, I want this to be a very standard preset, so we're going to leave it just the way it is. Let's drop down now into our, uh, we're going to go down to our antique curves. We're going in the neutral punches, and we're going to select the black and white neutral punch. And this basically does pretty much everything for us. It converts it to black and white. It adds a punchy tone curve as well. And all we're going to do now is to go up to our right side panel, and we're going to make some slight modifications on the shadows and blacks just to give it a more poppy feel to it. So we're just going to drop shadows by 10 and drop blacks by uh, about 25. We're going to go down to plus 15. Now these kind of really precise adjustments, they're not going to need to be made uh, that often unless you're really trying to perfect your images, but on occasion we do want to do it, and more in particular when you want to really perfect a preset, it might come necessary. But for the most part, I think I only did this once or twice with all the mixology presets that we made. So we dial that in and that looks great right there guys and then from here you'd save this out as your standard black and white vivid landscape preset if you didn't already have it but you guys have already updated to 1.1 so you should already have that and there's no need to go through it once again if we do want to save this out as a preset we would go here we would deselect white balance deselect uh, lens profile corrections transform and chromatic aberration have everything else checked with the exception of your auto settings select my mixology and type in your preset name right there. We would hit create but we don't need to since we already have it. And you guys might be asking why we repeat this so much and we really just want to drill it into your head basically how to quickly create your own mixology uh, presets because that is really the power in the Lightroom 4 preset system that we have developed. Alright guys so we're done with this tutorial. Uh, from this image all we would do is adjust if I select the uh, vivid landscape we should have the exact same look here because it's the exact same preset. We just haven't saved it out yet. Uh, and now from here, all I would do is just adjust my uh, exposure just to give me the amount that I want. And for this, I'd say a half a stop is probably good. Uh, maybe a stop or somewhere kind of right in between. But that looks great right there, guys. And let's go on to our next tutorial.